spokesperson on uh, children, schools and families. Uh, my background is that uh, I'm an ex-primary uh, teacher, and primary head teacher, uh, retired now, uh, but I'm a governor at uh, two local primary schools. So uh, we're confronted with some of the issues to do with free schools already. Um, in our particular bit of London, there's a shortage of school places in the primary sector, a drastic shortage, but no money to build uh, new primary schools. And also, the government is saying at the moment that any new build uh, should be an academy or a free school. So even if we wanted to, it would be very hard. So what the authority is doing is actually enlarging the schools that exist at the moment. And so there are proposals, I think, now for six five form entry primary schools. It is uh, primary schools with more than 1,000 pupils in each, uh, which obviously raises issues in terms of uh, Green Party policy as well. So, I'm also aware uh, that there, because of that shortage of places, I think I'll shut the door. Out. Uh, because of that shortage of places, free school providers are moving in, uh, and they've got they've got two advantages really. Um, one is that they're answering a need. They're actually children at home at the moment who haven't got a school place, um, both uh, reception and year one children. Um, so the free schools are offering a place, but they're also offering, because the authorities expanded schools, so it's very large size primary, they're offering one or two form entry schools, a small family centred school that um, a lot of parents uh, want. So it does give us some um, issues to do with how we argue against them. Um, the question that I, I, I formulated was, should we oppose free schools because they fragment the local education system, are not democratically accountable, and may re reinforce inequality, or support them because they provide an opportunity for small-scale implementation of green educational ideals. And I really did want an open and free-ranging discussion on that, not a rant telling people what, what they have to think. But, uh, there's all sorts of gradations of opinion on that, I think. Um, I've got two people here who um, are prepared to talk about the um, impact on, on the local authority schools of the free school um, issue. And I did invite anyone who wanted to make the case for free schools as a way of implementing green ideas to also come along. I just wanted to check whether there's anybody there who'd like to speak on that particular aspect at the moment. Okay. I, I might. You I might. might. I haven't come prepared for it, but I might. Have if I just read a couple of things, because there are people who can't come to the conference who have got that, that perspective, so if that's, to be fair in terms of the debate, if I just read out what they say, uh, in an old uh, green world of um, spring 2011, there's a letter from Eleanor Noel Johnson of Frome, and she was responding to an article I'd written in the issue before about academies and free schools. And she says um, that we need schools, such as those described by Martin Francis, to be the norm, small, community and child-centred, participative, and a walk away from home. And she also said she wanted them to be child-centred and child-led. She recognises that the free schools policy is flawed, but she says it does offer the opportunity, at least in theory, to create schools close to the ideal described. And she says here in Froome, is that how you say it? Froome? Froome. 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 Um, a group of parents have decided to do just that. And if allowed to go ahead, we hope to demonstrate how a human scale, democratic, all through school can be truly fit for the purpose of preparing young people for life in the 21st century, and how, trusted with the freedom to learn in their own way, in their own time, young people will exceed all our expectations. So a fairly strong uh, a, 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 a statement in favour. Um, I've had a very long email from Peter Reeve, who used to be the GP spokesman on education, I won't read it all, because it'll take up the whole workshop. Um, but um, he, he says that uh, he understands from Michael Gove that a lot of the free schools that are going to be um, set up do actually have um, a high number of children or more than the national norm of children. Please come and join us um, on, uh, on free school meals. So they will be catering, uh, not, not for the elite, but for uh, 
those who particularly need it. He says he's a tough-minded man who's got the bit between his teeth and he doesn't think there's any chance of um, actually defeating the free school policy. Uh, he thinks that the local, uh, the community ethos, the community accountability of local authority schools has been undermined a lot in, in, in recent times, so it isn't as strong as it used to be, and that free schools in some ways can be said to be democratically accountable, not by a local authority, but because they arise from local people's needs, so he puts that perspective. Um, uh, and then he does put the, put the view that uh, there's a lots of things wrong with the state school system, that is alienating, it's what exam orientated and so on, and that participating in the free school could... Is this um, the free school? Yes, yes, it is. Free for everybody. Uh, please come in. Um, so he thinks that uh, in some ways our cri critique of the over-centralised, um, over... Uh, uh, overburdened with targets. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is Sabaton. Oh, no, <laughs> that system actually uh, uh, has, has lost trust, and so we could um, uh, use free schools to put forward other ideas. And there was a very short one uh, from one person who said that uh, she'd been reading The Independent, and from what she understood, uh, many, many of the uh, bids for free schools have not succeeded. There were uh, 300 to 400 of them in the end, with only 24 in September. Uh, so the um, criteria used must be very stringent, and so that's, um, uh, 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 that's a plus for the government side. Yeah. Could I just add a little bit more information? Yeah. Peter Reid, while a former education spokesperson from the party, has been expelled from Mid Norfolk Green Party. Oh. He's currently living in Sheringham. I still believe that the National Member has strong views on education from a lot of experience, but those do, views do not coincide with quite a lot of people in the Green Party. No, green hands. So, so treat them with right. caution, please. Um, yes, I'm just representing. Yeah, I understand. I just. Okay. Want to and the last the one, on just to give, um, it isn't really, it's, uh, it's a message from Jenny Rust, not saying that she's. Um, in favour of free schools particularly, but saying, after almost 40 years of teaching of variety of schools and colleges, I'm only sure of one thing, that the current system is a huge mess and not fit for purpose. Uh, part of me thinks that any school that works for pupils should be encouraged, but she's worried about the faith um, aspect um, of it. And she's also particularly worried uh, about the fact that they won't have to employ uh, qualified staff. And she talks about that recent uh, suggestion of, an ex, uh, of a free school run by ex-soldiers. Uh, to instill a discipline in our working class. Um, that's, that's a very neutral way of putting it, sorry. It's not a very neutral way of putting it. Okay, so that was a whistle stop because I want to keep um, things to, I give five minutes to two um, people. David Williams, Councillor David Williams, uh, leader of the Green Group on Oxford uh, City Council, who's been a councillor for 25 years, uh, a lecturer and a college manager governor of nine schools over the years, two colleges and one university senate, and he's worked as a primary researcher for the DSU report on training for government. So some of you knows the, the business, and he's going to talk about the impact on council planning for school places or free schools and the whole issue of equality in free schools. Okay, David? Yeah, there's been a debate.